Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Well, today we're going to go to the dark side. Um, we're going to have a little look at Proxmox. Yeah, I know you're probably going, yeah, but this is Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Why on earth are we doing Proxmox on VMware Hancock's Half Hour? Well, we're actually going to install Proxmox, so I'm going to show you how to install Proxmox um, on ESXi uh, nested um, inside um, ESXi hypervisor or inside the ESXi hypervisor. So um, it's been a while. Um, I think I looked at the last ISO I downloaded, and I think it was 8.1. Um, we're up to 8.4-1 now. Uh, anyway, so I've downloaded the Proxmox VE 8.4 ISO installer. Um, I bobbed that on the NAS. Um, so here we go. I'm going to select new virtual machine. I'm going to cr select create a new virtual machine. And I'm going to give it the name of uh, Prox, Prox Mox Ox 8.4-1. Uh, followed by uh, next. Um, I'm going to basically just, I've got a um, uh, a cluster here of three virtual machines, three virtual machines, I've got a cluster here of three hosts that are sitting on vSAN, so I don't really have to worry about what host I put it on, he says. Uh, I'm going to click next. Uh, I'm going to bob this on my vSAN data store now that it's all nicely fixed and repaired. Uh, we're still running ESXi 7.0 U2, but you could select uh, 8.0 U3 there or later. Followed by next, I'm going to select uh, Linux. I'm going to select uh, Debian uh, GNU Linux 11, well, 12, it doesn't really matter. Followed by next, I'm going to customize my hardware. Um, so I want to beef this up a bit. Um, so I'm going to give this uh, four cores, four cores. Um, I want to expose the hardware assisted virtualization to the guest OS. So we want to pass Intel um, VT um, or AMD V if you were on an AMD uh, into the virtual machine um, because it's nested. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to host any virtual machines there. Um, and I'm going to give this a bit of memory um let's give it 32 gig to start with i think i think that'll do and we want to give it some disk space um so let's give it um i'm going to give it uh 500 gig that'll do uh and i'm going to specify a specific lab that we hear vlab um now what's different about vlab is on the um doesn't matter whether or not you're using standard switches or distributed switches, um, but you'll need to tweak the settings for forged Mac transmits to accept and promiscuous mode to accept because we're doing some strange things with nested and networking. Um, and I'm going to use a data store ISO uh, that I've actually basically copied up earlier. Proxmox. Yeah, you can see here that the last one I used was 8.1. So we're going to use 8.4, which is the latest and greatest. I'm going to click connect. Connect. I'm going to click next. Just going to have a quick look. Uh, Debian disabled, 32 VLAB. Yep, I think that's all about right. Um, and I'm going to click finish. Um, of course, the big advantage of virtualization, of course, is that we can go back and we can tweak those settings later. Um, and I'm now just going to go to the summary and I'm going to power on and I'm going to click launch and there we go. A lovely a welcome to Proxmox virtual environment. Okay, so let me explain because people are probably still out there probably going, my God, this is Hancock's VMware a half hour. What on earth are you doing with Proxmox? Um, a uh, couple of people have asked, um, not surprisingly, um, can we um, P2V, V2V um, VMs from Proxmox to 
VMware and VMware to Proxmox. And of course, at the, at the moment, there are an awful lot of people moving to Proxmox. I don't know why. Do you? Um, anyway, so that's the reason why. Uh, so um, I'm going to install. Um, I'm trying to work out which is the selected. Is that the selected one or is that the selected one? Let's try that. Install Proxmox VE graphical. Uh, if it doesn't appear as graphical uh, and it all starts basically being uh, very uh, text based, then we know that we selected the wrong one. Uh, we will see shortly. OK, so that's basically gone off and done an EH DHCP offer. It's got back an IP address of uh, 136.79. Um, OK, this looks like a graphical interface because I've got a lovely mouse cursor. Uh, so I did select the right one. OK, end user agreement. Yeah, we love that. Click agree. Um, OK, target hard disk, dev SDA 500 gig. What options have we got here? EXT4, XFS, RAID types. We'll just sit at EXT4 for the moment. Uh, please verify that installation, automatic hardware detection. OK, so well, let's just click next. United Kingdom, Europe, London, United Kingdom, followed by next. Password, OK, that's important. And it wants an email address. OK, let's put in an email address. Followed by next. Passwords do not match. Certainly don't either. Next. OK. Um, so uh, it has the drivers for um, the virtualized uh, VMX NEC3 interface, which is good. Uh, it's got an IP address of 141.245.136.79. Um, we'll leave it to DHCP for the moment. Um, if we need to hard code in the future, we will. Hostname PVE, PV. Yeah, okay, let's just go with the default um, hostname of PVE. Um, followed by next. Um, that looks all right. Uh, followed by install. Um, and, uh, and that's it. Simple. In fact, actually, I think that was a little bit quicker than installing ESXi. I jest. Anyway, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I uh, wonder if this is going to, um, tell you what, I'm going to have a sip of this and uh, I thought maybe this might be a little bit quicker. Uh, but anyway, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a sip of my espresso. I'm going to bob off. I'll speed all this up in post and uh, we'll restart this server and we'll come back and uh, and we'll um, we'll log into it. Uh, so um, I'll be back. Um, if I can find my mouse cursor, I'll be back shortly. back okay so as you will have seen if we just go back to the um successfully configured welcome to the proxmox virtual environment please use your web browser to configure this server um okay so um https one for one two for five one three six dot seventy six colon followed by a funny port number eight zero zero six one for one, two for five, one three seventy six colon eight zero zero six eight zero oh seventy nine. Oh dear, dear dear dear. I can't read, I can't write, but I can drive a tractor. Okay, uh, okay. So we've got a familiar. Um, don't like this certificate. We can probably change that later. Uh, okay, username and password. Uh, okay, now I typed an email address in. Uh, does is that
root there we go not my username not my email address uh you don't have a valid subscription for this service please visit proxmox.com to get a list of available options okay yeah that doesn't surprise me uh followed by okay uh so that's it there you go um we're done um that's how uh simple um it is um so um if you like this video then give it a thumbs up give it a like if you don't like it uh, then tell me why you don't like it in the description um but anyway come back again soon for another hancock's vmware half hour and i'll show you um why um we are looking at uh proxmox at uh, hancock's vmware half an hour half an hour uh, anyway um so thanks so much for watching and uh, and goodbye